Okay, I'm starting at Blend. I Star Trek Project. User Control. Star Trek. It's got a Fireball. Torpedo. Left, right. Forward, back. Up, down. To control Star the Star Trek ship. I'm showing you how I'm using Blend to create animation using keyframes and you could see how easy it is the little gradient on the the gradient bars you just move them around while you're in the key, create the uh, keyframes tool So those are diff these are different storyboards that I saved, and then I attached them to the objects. So on mouse down, on mouse click, here they are. Those are all the events I attached the animation to the different events on the objects. You can add more. You, you can delete them. I'm gonna let's go see the code. So here's my home page. It has two user controls, the Star Trek controller that we created animation and blend and then the actual Star Trek environment. The user control has a Star Trek environment and can access any public objects inside of it. So here we go. There's the Star Trek environment inside of my Star Trek controller. There's the Star Trek controller. These are all the events. You see these mouse down events when you're clicking these different shapes or paths. Let's look at the code. So when you click Fireball, it goes into the environment of the, the, the 3D Star Trek and it, it calls different event, different uh, methods in there, passing in variables like distance. The, the one is for the amount of time, the distance, so you get your time and distance. You want the the actual uh, objects to travel like the starship and the bullets and stuff like that here's loading shapes those are gradients like skinning different 3d objects that's what this is there's images for skinning 3d shapes here's creating board ships here's creating stars these are what make up the starship. These are all the... Th see that event right there? You can use events on uh, 3D objects so when you click it on mouse down it can trigger an event. There's rotation, scale, moving, mo the 3D shapes. This is how you do it. See that these keyframes, you can pass in a whole bunch of keyframes in the, the begin animation and it can actually do all all your different keyframe animations and code. It's really cool. You should definitely take advantage if you don't already know this. Based on time, you can have different values set, which create different uh, keyframes. So, and the, the, there's a duration and a begin time. Here's creating 3D shapes. Here's a star, a 3D star. I have a mesh object. I actually have this in a class. I use Zam 3D and grab the shapes. And then I just grab the mesh geometry 3D shape, pass it into uh, my resource. 
and then I make a class that can actually build that geometry 3D right here. So my star, all I had to do is call this class and this, hit the star, and then it it grabs the from the resource file the geometry 3D, and the XAML reader turns that uh, all that text from the resource file into a real geometry 3D object. There's create spears. Here's moving uh, the ship around to move the ship in X, Y, Z coordinates. These were used on the Star Trek controller. Torpedo to file to fire torpedoes to fire fireballs. Let's run it and see what it looks like. So here's the ship. Moving left, right, up, down, back. There's the ship going up and down. So you have full access to a 3D environment. You can make the ship go wherever you want.